took us a very long time to figure out exactly how much influence hackers had in the 2016 election, not to mention who was calling the shots. In fact, we may never know the complete story, especially when things like this happen. A computer server at the center of a lawsuit against Georgia election officials has been found wiped clean. It could have revealed whether recent elections were compromised by hackers. It is not clear who ordered the server's data to be erased in July. The FBI is not commenting about the case. Come on! I have double backups of my 3,000 cat pictures. Can you not give the same attention to democracy? Ugh. Here's me with more. The Department of Homeland Security contacted election officials in 21 states to notify them that they had been targeted by Russian government hackers during the 2016 campaign. But could foreign agents really be seeking to sow seeds of doubt in the integrity of our electoral process? And if the answer is yes, then how? I sat down with cybersecurity researcher Logan Lamb to find out just how worried I should be. Are you trying to make this a Matrix parody? I'm the Neo, you're Trinity. I think I'm Morpheus right now. No, that's, I don't, I don't remember the character names. It's not important. <laughs> Shut up. I needed answers. Answers that could affect the future of America's democracy. I take the blue pill. I wake up tomorrow and believe whatever I want to believe. Or I take the red pill. And you can show me how deep the rabbit hole goes. Oh, tricked ya. Shook them both. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to do that. I think something's supposed to happen now. Whoa. Production value. <laughs> All right, hit me with the truth, Geek Squad. Why should I be worried about our nation's election integrity? Because a lot of the machines that are being used today in our elections have been known to be vulnerable for the past 10 plus years. So are you saying that the machines we use to vote are insecure? Uh, hilariously so. Maybe the machines are insecure because people like you are always criticizing them. Did you ever think of that? Well, I have facts and well-published research from experts. Facts yeah. don't work anymore. Try again. I hacked into a voting machine in the state of Georgia. Oh my fucking God. Yeah. All of the voting machines in the state of Georgia are managed by the Center for Election Systems at Kennesaw State. I did a quick little Google search and I ran across a really weird link. At that point, I wrote a little bit of code to download everything that I could from that website. There were PDFs of election day passwords that supervisors use to start and end elections. Can you tell me what the password was? Four digit pin. I have to put in 16 letters and digits to get into my Fresh Direct account. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? But it gets worse. Great. There were voter registration databases, which had full names, date of births, addresses, so a hacker could log into the online voter registration and change people's information. <sighs> Changing the registration for citizens so they are unable to vote is probably the worst case scenario. You're basically saying that we can't trust the machines. We absolutely can't trust the machines. Good thing there are only 229,000 of these things currently being used in the United States. <laughs> the issue with electronic voting machines is that you can't easily verify your personal vote. There's no way to audit the results. So all that's standing between Russia and our democracy is a Zune? For Microsoft? Sorry, a nerd wrote that joke, hold on. Pat, what's a Zune? What, what's a Zune? Yeah. Yeah, it's like an MP3 player from, from a couple of years ago. No. This Matrix parody that I thought was gonna be so fun is just so depressing. But there is a solution. Okay, well who should I talk to? The Donnas. I should speak to the Donnas. Yes, the Donnas. I was told you two were my oracle. I'm Donna. And I'm Donna. Is this a glitch in the Matrix? How am I supposed to tell you two apart? We look different. Yes, that's true, we do. 
This is Donna Curling and Donna Price. They're pro-democracy activists from Georgia who have been fighting the machine since it was a good time to parody the Matrix. We are fighting to have voters vote on paper ballots instead of voting by electronic machine where their votes can be disappeared. So the solution from stopping the machines from taking over and ruining democracy is paper and pencil. Paper and pencil. It's voter verified paper ballots. What does that mean to people who like don't care? It's when they have a ballot that they mark and they can look to see that their marks are by the candidates that they're picking. Have you ever tried to rephrase the issue to be something like electronic voting is like taking a knee? That would get people excited. Yes. But we need your help to get the word out. <gasps> you mean I am the one? I guess. Oh, God, give me a cookie. I need strength. This is a lot of pressure, but it's well worth it to stop Anonymous or Russia or whoever's in the machine from hacking into our elections. Oh, shit. Who makes Matrix parodies in 2017? Ha, ha, ha. 1999 was a good year. Come at me, bro. You sick bastard. Saving democracy is gonna be harder than I thought. Oh, that was easy. Hello? Hi. America, listen. There is no evidence that a foreign power has hacked our votes, but we need to focus. Oh, sandwich. Because they could. And maybe they will. Oh, <gasps> taint. Because I just explained how easy it is to get into the voting machines, and until we return to paper ballots, our democracy is at risk of being totally screwed. Did I do it? Did I win the Matrix? We'll be right back. Yeah!